Mendrink. I am a systems analyst here at DWD Technology Group. Today we're going to review setting up a system audit report on accounts receivable customer maintenance. And what we're looking to do is to find out if someone changed information and who that someone may be. So for example, if you have uh, salespeople that work in accounts receivable and they go to a customer record and make themselves the salesperson for that account. We can actually generate a log in the background and run a report with when everybody's out of the system that will allow us to see who changed what information. So in this case we would look for someone who has changed a customer salesperson maybe to themselves. So the first thing we need to do is we need to go into Sage 100, Modules, Accounts Receivable, Setup, and Accounts Receivable Options. In order to go into Accounts Receivable Options, there must be no one in the Sales Order or Accounts Receivable Module. If there is, you will be warned that you can only view this tab. So it's best to try to do it when everybody's out of the system. When the options open, we go to the tab 6, which is history. And we notice this box right here that says customer audit. And what do we want to track? We have a few options, all being that it will track any deletions, additions, changes to the customer's records. Note that other modules also have this ability. Um, in general, it is the same type of setup and they would have different information they may track. But in this case, we're going to go ahead and set it to all because we want to track all changes or deletions or additions. Now, there's an additional checkbox that appears if we track additions and it asks if we want it in detail. And what that means is if a customer service rep goes in and adds a new customer to Sage 100, if you go look at the audit report later, you can see that they added the customer record and what information they placed in the different fields on that new customer record. For this, we'll just leave it to all and we're not going to track in detail. We hit accept. So now let's say we have a salesperson working throughout the day. They go into accounts receivable. They go into customer maintenance. They look up a customer, use 3G Homes, and they say, you know, I'm going to make myself the salesperson. They change it. They hit accept. Now, that we have auditing on, we can go into reports, and there's a report called Customer Audit Report. If we click that report, we can run it for different settings. So we can say we want a specific user log on or date. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and show everything. I'm going to click Preview. And notice that it brings up a crystal report that says it was changed the customer number, the field that was changed, the original value, and the new field value. So I can see that someone came in and changed this information from DWD to 0300, the new salesperson. And up here I can see which user did that. Like I mentioned, this is available in the different modules to track different information. When you close the report, it will ask you if you want to purge the audit file, meaning have you reviewed the information you want and you no longer want to keep that in the table. The good side to this being that you're not collect if you are collecting a lot of data throughout the day, you may go in there and check it every few days and purge it. So there's less data stored in the data table, saving some hard, hard drive space, et cetera. So we're going to go ahead and purge it. So 
So today we learned how to turn on the track changes for accounts receivable under accounts receivable options, history tab. We made it so it would track all changes. We made a change to a record in customer maintenance by changing the salesperson. And then we ran the customer audit report under accounts receivable reports to see the change that happened. As noted, that report must be ran when no one is in the system. Thank you for watching. Please check out our other videos on YouTube and other tips and tricks on our website at www.dwdtechgroup.com.